This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving me another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. I'm playing with Jax Knights yet again. Hopefully we can crank out another match. Hopefully I have a little bit better quality than the previous one in terms of the deck my opponent is playing, because, I mean, I'm all for stomping decks from 2012, but... Sometimes things have to, uh, sometimes things have to progress when I'm playing a deck that literally comes out in 2018. Is Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2 frozen? Has it frozen? It doesn't show me that it's frozen. It doesn't say that it's frozen at all, in fact. There we go. I don't know why that process took so much longer than it needed to, but... What the fuck ever. Alright, so, what I've got access to is I can upstart here. I definitely should have terraforming first, but I'm a dumbass. But even if I draw another terraforming, I can still generate another draw out of that. Um, because of uh, because of reasons. Because of the fact that you can discard uh, the other copies of, uh, of Scars. But, I drew into Azure Blue, so that's actually really good. Um, it's actually really good. Very good. Amazing. Alright, so, I'm going to terraforming here. For my uh, for my cards, Ash Blossom. Really? All right. Well, I guess I'll just uh, activate the trade in then, and you're not gonna get the plus one. <laughs> Another grinder golem. Interesting. And I drew this. Very good. All right. So I will special summon uh, my tokens here. Get you the grinder golem going, and then I can special summon my. Link Spider, and then my Link Karibo, and then we can start going from there. I've got the Instant Fusion as well, which I can use to out the Grinder Call, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, but so, I will do this. Does Link Karibo point up? Where does Link Karibo point? Link Karibo points down. Okay. It does not point up. For some reason, I thought that card pointed up. Weird. Um... But so I can special summon Grinder Golem again, uh, giving myself tokens, pokey tokes, uh, token, 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 Grinder Golem, uh, and then I can go into Proxy Dragon, um, or straight into Firewall even, straight into Firewall, um, and hmm, interesting, interesting options. That I have access to. Uh, I can special a Link Karibo, have a firewall down here, and yeah. 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 Right. Okay. So, um, I can special Grinder Golem, Instant Fusion for Thousand Eyes, suck up one, uh, firewall would come out. And then I can do this. Let's see, let's try to clear a card name. Equal to the Decomber Co links. Um, all right. Well then, uh, let's see. I'm going to actually do that. That's going to be. Let's 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 see if this play. Let's see if this interesting play can happen. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we can get here. I'm gonna give him the other Grinder Golem. I'm gonna make Firewall Dragon just raw with these cards. Uh, so I'll special summon. Doink 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 doink. Uh, Firewall Dragon here. I'm gonna see what happens here. I'm gonna call, um, Jesus Christ! How do I even choose? Select a card for announcement, eh? How do I, do I type? Re-input. Type keywords, yes. Um, World Legacy. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Whoa! Um, uh, I want... One of my three ofs. I want scars caused by the world legacy. Because if I uh, if I mill a monster, I don't care. Whoa, what? Equal to the monster Equal to the link arrows of the monster co link of this card. So that was four! Oh my god! And I missed it in four cards. I misread this card's effect. I thought I would just reveal one. No, that was actually kinda good. Oh my lord. Alright. <laughs> I I completely misinterpreted this effect. It's the number of link arrows the monsters co-linked with this card has. So I milled four. Fucking great. Alright. Well, wasn't ideal because I milled my cards, but still. 
<laughs> it worked, right? Um, so I'll suck up the grinder golem, and then I'll, uh, I will, uh, chain, I'll bring back the Link Karibo from Grave, uh, by tributing this to get this here, and then I can use Firewall to bounce the grinder golem if it becomes, uh, a problem. So, all in all, in terms of a turn structure, that was kind of wild. Definitely not wild for Jack's Knight reasons, but... Hell yeah. My opponent has three cards in his extra deck. No! No, 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 no. We're, uh, we're gonna have, uh, some problems here with, uh, with quality gameplay. I believe. I believe we're gonna have those issues. Upstart Goblin. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Um, I can bring back the Azure Blue. And start moving it around. What the fuck is that? B4 Bomb Spider? What are you? Once per turn, you can target one dark machine type monster you control and one face of card your opponent controls and destroy them. This is a fiend, thank god. Um, so it can target itself, right? Uh, yeah. If a monster you control is original type and attribute, dark street destroys a monster, but opponent controls without a own card or its own effects, this is the grave. You can inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack of one of those destroyed monsters. Alright. Cool. Um, weird. <laughs> That's all I can say to that one is weird. Weird indeed. But he summoned it here, which means that I can't use Link Karibo. Um, I can't use uh, this to bring back the Azure Blue in the zone to prevent that from happening because of the Link Karibo being here. Which is kind of irritating, but whatever. Twin Twister. Uh, I don't think it destroys the monster, right? Oh, when this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. Yeah, it does. Alright, so. Yes. Um. I mean, I might as well, right? Just to, just to have it come back. For some reason. <laughs> Volcanic Scattershot. <laughs> Excuse me? What is your deck? <laughs> What is your deck? Tell me, please. What is your deck? Yeah, I'll chain it. Okay. It. Um, I'm gonna put that grinder golem back in my hand so I can make another Akashic Magician next turn. Obviously. Um, what does this card do? If a dark machine monster you control is destroyed by another card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can, once per turn during the battle phase, you can toss a coin three times and destroy face of monsters on the field up to the number of heads, and then if the result is three heads, draw a card. Excuse me? Um, this card cannot attack the turn, its effect is activated. If this card is sent to the graveyard from anywhere, you can add one level seven or lower monster with an effect that performs a coin toss from your deck. Alright, well, I don't know why he didn't cost a, toss a coin. Um, because he literally has nothing to lose from tossing a coin. I don't understand why he didn't toss a coin. He could have killed both of my monsters. He tosses a coin three times, and it all you need is one heads to destroy one monster. I'm so confused, but this looks cool as fuck. This looks so cool. I'm a little confused, but I'm also a little excited. A little excite. Uh, but I can make decode talker. Uh, so I could put de I could put decode talker here. Let's see. I need to get rid of this. Let's see. Once per turn during the battle phase of either player's turn. <laughs> oh my lord! This card's actually kind of good. Um, can't even pretend like it isn't. Card's kind of good. Um, card is kind of good and kind of good. That's really all there is to it. Kind of good. Um, I can make. I can summon the Grinder Golem again. I can summon Proxy Dragon. Um, and I can uh, try to <laughs> try to use this thing's effect again. Um, uh, I could try. Probably gonna go badly. But I could definitely try. Yeah. We'll special summon this. Uh, we'll give myself tokens. Summon the Grinder Golem. 
And then, uh... We'll make, uh... We'll make Proxy Dragon. And, again... I'm going to... Uh, is this... What? Oh, co-linked! Co-linked! That's where... That's where I die. This is where my... This is where my, uh... My run ends. What the fuck am I playing against? I don't even know. But I lost a game to it. Legitimately. I legitimately lost a game to this deck. I'm just gonna suicide this. He's gonna use his effect. Come on. Use the effect, big boy. Do it. You have no reason not to. Oh, my lord. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Tails, heads, heads. Wonderful. Alright, so now he gets to destroy two cards, right? Um. Oh, you only have to... Up to. Okay, it doesn't even require you. Alright, well. We're gonna go to game two. <laughs> I just 100% lost this one. Um, even, have, even after opening, like, a really cool play. Um, there's nothing in my deck that is worthwhile to side in or out to deal with this other than just playing better and drawing better. That's it. That's all that I have access to. How long has this been going? About 10 minutes? Alright. Fair. Alright, finally my opponent has returned. He took so fucking long. I don't understand why either. Alright, so I've got the wind-up rabbit, that's good. I've got the blue sky, that's also good. I've got a Link Karibo plus this, that's also good. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate Instant Fusion. And I'm going to pay a thousand. Summon my thousand eyes here. Uh, I'm going to set this card here. Uh, I can special this. Um... Special that, I can make uh, I can make Link Karibo with the Thousand Eyes, I can special this, I can special this, and I can special this. Um, there's a few different options. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna make Link Karibo. Let's, let's be real here. There's no reason for me not to make Link Karibo at least. Um, and so I can special summon this. Special. Yas. Yas. And then I can normal summon this uh, by tributing the Link Karibo, uh, which will then allow me to banish it, get a search, and then I can banish this, get a search. So that's how you. That's how I'm gonna get multiple searches here. I'm gonna banish this, to get a search um, for Azure Blue. Where are you? Azure Blue. And then I can activate this, bringing this back. Um, but otherwise, my play structuring kind of ends here. Uh, yeah, it does. It really does. This is going to be... Hmm. Well, at least if I keep only one monster on the field, then he's not going to be able to... Uh, he's not going to be able to do the dumb shit with uh, the level 4, because he won't be able to destroy a card. Um, so, like, as soon as he normal summons that monster, if I see it, then I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to uh, to chain this banishing the search a card. Um, oh, he's putting two cards in this zone for me. How very kind! He does not know how my deck plays. Um, what the fuck is, is this? The new Barrel Dragon deck? It has to be right. This is the Desperado Barrel Dragon. I hope he's playing the entire thing. I hope that's how this goes. I I have the biggest smile on my face. I hope that's how this works. Um, so in phase, yes, I would love to chain its effect, in fact. Uh, two monsters for free? Yes, please. Um, you can Ash Blossom this card, can't you? Yeah, you can. Well, not a lot of good it would do, though, because if you Ash Blossom it, it'll just stay on the field, or it'll banish itself and then come back next turn. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Ash Blossom. Alright. Yeah, so it does stay on the field. Okay. Good. That, that, th doesn't really matter. Because uh, now I just get to do it here, and it'll come back in the standby phase. Um, <laughs> so, burning cards for the sake of burning cards is fun, I hear. Uh, but so you add that. And then, standby phase. I will bring back... Um, I'll bring back uh, Blue Sky here. 
And then I'll bring back the wind-up rabbit here. Because what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to activate it, get it off the board. Um, well, I've already activated it to affect this turn, so never mind. But what I can do is that I can uh, I can activate this, um, this key to the world legacy. Right. And then what I can do is I can summon the Azure Blue here. I can move it. Um, and then special this. Yeah. So I'll special summon the Azure Blue here. And yeah, this 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 blue sky this blue sky is here because I want it to negate if this is a trap. That's what I want it for. <laughs> That's the only reason that it's there. Uh, but so I'll move this over here. I will special summon this in this zone. I'll get two searches for free because my opponent has decided to, to put Supply Squad on top of this. Um, for literally what I can only assume is no reason, uh, I'm going to get uh, Yellow Bloom, and I'm going to get... Um, what else can I get? I'll get... Uh, I can get another one of these. Well, no, I'm going to be able to bring that back with this anyway, so I don't care. I'll get the uh, Monster Destroyer. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the big bitch. I'm going to make it with these, with these three, um, which will then allow me to, because that stick keeps this here for that. Um, yeah, so a special summon utilizing one, two, and three. Well, I can get rid of, yeah, this, this one goes away. I'll summon this here. Um... And then I can summon the Yellow Bloom, which I can then use to banish a card to get rid of the Supply Squad, which I will do. So I will banish uh, the Blue Sky from Grave to get rid of the Supply Squad. And then I can use the World Remains' as effect to get rid of it. And then I can summon another, uh, another Azure Blue. I can summon it, I'll summon the Azure Blue over here, and then I can special this from my hand, here, and then I can also activate its effect to destroy a monster, so I'll banish the Yellow Bloom, destroy this. What? What? Face up, monster in the same column. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. All right. All right. We'll deal with this. We'll deal with this in the only way we know how, which is just to play the game. That's the way we play it. <laughs> All right. This is this is how. I should have summoned this over here. I'm a dumbass. I am dumb. Blast Sphere, what do you do? During your opponent's next standby phase, destroy the monster this card is equipped to. Oh no. Oh no, my dears. My dearest dear. Alright, well then. I'll activate this. I'll summon a level 5 or higher monster. In fact, why didn't I activate this first? I'm literally putting myself on tilt. This is so irritating. <laughs> I have put my own self on tilt. Um, fuck. Have I summoned Azure Blue the proper way this turn? Yes, I have. 100%. Uh, so I'm going to summon it back anyway. I'm going to summon this back because I can banish this. And the Blast Sphere won't matter then. So, yeah. Alright. Big fucking boy. It's time to deal with your bullshit. Um, I'm putting myself on tilt. New Barrel Dragon cards. Who would have thunk it? Um, I know that there's new Thousand Eyes support, new Relinquished in Thousand Eyes support, and that looks kind of cool, but I haven't actually read the the uh, Barrel Dragon support. And it turns out Desperado Barrel Dragon's pretty fucking good. Um, at least against a deck like mine. Strangely enough. Alright, so. If he just ends his turn, I'm going to use this to banish... A, uh, a Jax Knight that I control, which will be the World Remains. This will fall off. 
This will come back during my next turn, um, which will come back in one of these columns. I'll probably put it over here, to be completely honest with you. Um, well, yeah, okay. Um, does not point to a monster, can't be destroyed by card effects. Actually, then, if that's the case, um, destroy this monster, destroy the monster's card is equipped to. So, actually, I don't even have to banish this. Um, Twin Twister, well then, I'm going to chain this effect, getting rid of it, um, so it doesn't destroy itself. <laughs> and I'll get, uh, I'll get the Azure Blue, so I can reestablish my stuff there. Um, this now can't be destroyed by card effects, meaning that this will not destroy it, meaning that it was worthless. What did he discard? He discarded Volcanic Shell. Interesting. I'm going to summon this way the fuck over here. Blast Sphere, good shit. Doesn't die. Amazing. Um, <laughs> amazing. That's the point at which my opponent surrenders. Fucking amazing. Alright. Well then. I'm gonna put the Cosmic Cyclones in, take out one of these Call of the Haunted Traps, uh, put this in, uh, take out one, uh, take out the Flickering Flame. This card sucks. I don't even know why it's in my deck. If I'm completely real with you, I don't know why it's in my deck. Um, I'll take out one of the scars caused by the World Legacy. I will take out what else? I want to put in this Regeki because I'm a greedy bitch. Um, so I guess I'll take out the upstart. Yeah. Okay. This seems kind of all right. Let's see if it takes my opponent forever to side deck for this one. Because it took a hell of a long time for that last one. Literally took him like three minutes before he came back. Oh shit! He's here! He's here and he's now! Oh my god! Wait, I'm going first. This isn't how this was supposed to go. Oh well. I mean, I'll deal with it. I'll take it. I've got the wind-up rabbit. Um, so I'll activate this here. This will summon the Thousand Eyes. Which will turn into Link Karibo. Which I can then set my, uh, I can then set my, uh, set my trap here. I can then special summon this. Um, I can summon this, move it, special this, and then use this effect to banish. Um, but is that going to be the most worthwhile other than just, uh, than just summoning this and, uh, and moving it around that way? It'd be so much easier if I had access to the field spell. Because if I had access to the field spell, if this was the field spell, the play would be simple. It'd be banish this, search for Azura Blue, play the field spell, discard this, draw a card, and then everything is fine. And I get to add back a card or do whatever. But no, now it's just being difficult. But so I'm going to use this target itself um, to add a copy of, I guess another copy of Azura Blue, uh, because I've got two of them. So I can put two on the board. Seems pretty alright. Yeah. So I can put a Zerblu on the board, put a Zerblu on the board, um, because I can put this on the board, and then I can just, uh, I can just move it around. So I will. I'll move it over here. Um, and then I can just special summon this one, uh, at a later date. I guess. I can normal summon it. I can tribute summon it, and then use this to bring it back. <laughs> alright. Um, uh, that's something that does work. I could just link with it, too. Eh. Uh, we'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll normal summon. <laughs> I'll take the raw minus two. Don't worry, there's a reason. There's a reason for it. Don't have the twin twisters, my dude! It's gonna be a bad time for me if you do. Uh, fuck me. What is picking at my neck? Probably just like a piece of, like, wood sliver from the, from the woodworking I was doing earlier today. Probably got caught in my shirt collar. Foolish burial, guys! What? How dare. If you send Blaze Accelerator Reload to the graveyard, I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh my god! What a buster. Alright. So he's going to be able to do this. He's going to be able to do the Blaze Accelerator Reload. Um. <sighs> At any point. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to use this. Oh, 
this is so bad. Because now he can just Blaze Accelerator Reload me. He played these cards in the wrong order. Because now I know it's coming and I feel bad about it, but I'm not prevented from doing it. Now it just pisses me off. Um, like, if he had just waited and played that later, then he would have gotten me. I would have committed more resources into the play. Would have been uh, would have been better off overall for him. Battle phase. What? Uh, I know what you are doing. I see. Um, he's gonna summon that big motherfucker out of his hand, and then I'm gonna have to move these around. Yeah, there you are, Desperado Barrel Dragon. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so you're summoning it there. Cool. I'll move this. Yeah, move. Move over here. Negate. Negate. Nagate. Um. Shit, man. I think these cards are really cool. I don't know about the deck itself, but I think these cards are really cool. Um, I don't know what the purpose of the volcanics are, other than just to... You're not even going to use your Blaze Accelerator Reload? What? Alright. Alrighty, then. Let's see. This comes back. Uh, I am able to... I am able to normal summon this, or activate this here. Um, then I can... Uh, okay, so no, you're doing it now! Why now? I'm so fucking confused why you're doing this now um like this this doesn't make any sense to me yeah and flick damage cool yeah all right so now i'm gonna chain this and i'm just gonna i'm gonna fucking yes banish this um just so that i continue continue to get a uh, string of monsters because that is going to be the problem that I have, is a string of monsters, if this does not continue in any sort of um, good way for me. Uh, Azura Blue is good, but uh, but Blue Sky is better. Um, I'll get Blue Sky. If those die, I take another thousand. Um... I need that field spell, actually. It makes it so much easier if I have the field spell. Because it gives the boosts. The boosts are super important. It turns out. Who would have thought? Uh, but so I'll special this over here. This will get a search. Special, yes. I will do that. I will do that effect, please. Um, and I will get a copy of... Ah. Uh, I don't know what to get. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I should get. I guess another Azure Blue, since I'm running really low on them, as it seems. Um, this destroys what monsters? Yeah, face up monsters on the field equal to the number of heads. All right. I'm gonna pass my turn and hope that I don't die. Uh, this is weird. This is so weird. I don't know how I feel about this in terms of how it's going, but ah. <laughs> That's literally the extent of my thought process is. Uh, I, I sort of gave up on all my thought processes about three turns ago. Because I don't really know what I should be looking for in terms of the weaknesses of this deck. At least not right now. This is the first time I've actually read these cards. Um, I've been hearing people say the new Barrel Dragon stuff was good, but I don't know how good. This card's actually fucking good. Yeah. This card's really good. Um, but so he's attacking with it, which is fine. Uh, if I draw a setable... Oh, he's not even attacking with it, he's doing the heads, tails things. Three tails! See, this is one of those times when you don't use this effect. You attack, it's so free. Now you just got greedy. You got greedy, you're gonna get punished. If I draw a setable, I'm gonna punish the shit out of you. Now I have this monster, look at it, PUNISHED! 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 I mean, you, you... You did that to yourself! 
You you did that to yourself. You can't you can't blame anyone for that but you. You you can't blame anyone for that but you. All you had to do was attack. <sighs> I'm so upset. I'm so upset. All this man had to do was attack. Fuck me. All right. Well, I'm gonna activate this. This is gonna add back the blue, the blue sky. Which I'm gonna summon and get another search. You know, God do the good plays. Well, God do the good plays. We're not trying to do the bad plays. We're trying to do good plays. Good plays are good because good plays do good things. Um, so we'll special summon this here. Um, we'll get its effect. I'm not sure for what at this point. I mean, I already pretty much have everything, right? Basically. Um, I guess I could just get another one of these. Does it matter? I don't know. But, so I will special summon this here. Uh, I will use its effect. Activate. Um, banishing an Azura Blue. Popping this. And the Supply Squad will trigger. He gets to draw a card. Yep. Um, and so now... What I can do is I can uh, I can link into my link three, uh, which I can make. So I'll make the link three up here, and I I should have made it here because I could have sent the duplicate. God damn it! Why do I suck at this game? <laughs> why do I suck at this game so fucking much? Um, so I'll special summon this here. This will pop the set. Um, so we'll do this. I just I suffer from very critical oversights when I'm playing online because I'm not invested in the game at all. I, when I'm doing these videos, I'm not invested. Um, and that's the problem. That's the problem that I need to overcome to get better duels for these videos because it's very much a personal problem. Uh, when I'm playing actual Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm super invested because I have the cards in my hand. And it's like it's hard not to be invested, you know? And also, like, traveled to this event, so, like, I'm in the mindset of, like, focus. Focus, focus. But now. Uh, are you going to activate this or not? It's going to get negated if it's a trap. Um, this summons from deck in defense position. I can special this. I can move it. I can then... Well, this is already something that I've specialed this turn, so can't do that. Um, that's three. That's 52. Uh, 56, 76. Alright. So if I summon this, it's game. Come on! Just let me, just let me hit the card. Please, please, just let the card die. Just let card die. Don't activate, just let die. Just let die, please. No, no thank you, please. Just let die, please. Please just let die. Please just die. Come on, man. Come on, man. Please. Please. Make play. Make play. Please. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, wait. No. <laughs> Multitasking my ass. Um, special this. Petal Fizz. Alright, so. This is enough for game, right? I swear to God. If you sit there and wait again. You, you can't send a card that kills me. So... I don't think that matters. Yeah, look. A shell. Ooh. Beware the mighty shell. All hail the conch. Alright, so this is, yeah, this is game. Because these are these are two 2,000 attack monsters and this is 3,000. So that's well over 7,000. It's like 76. Um, I think I already did that math, but I got too caught up in my no, no, please, uh, to remember. So this is just game. Game! Alright, uh, and this can move around just because. Why not? Uh, but so, yeah. Alright. Alright. I just realized this person's name was hit you with that burner. 
and he was playing Volcanics in a deck that I'm not sure Volcanics actually mesh well with it. Um, I actually kind of want to go read a little bit more into these uh, Barrel Dragon cards now, uh, because Desperado Barrel Dragon gets me kind of moist. Let's be real. I re I'm, I'm reading that card, and the more I'm reading, the more absurd it just seems. So, this Legacy Sport might be wild, so that might be a future video. That might be a future gameplay video. Uh, but anyway, so that's going to be it for this one. Uh, this has been a long as fuck video. Fuck me, 36 minutes, all just because my opponent plays slow, and then I also play slow. <laughs> We're all just slow players up in this business. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, do all nonsense usually do. Links, as always, are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page, as well as my personal Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly and support my ability to make videos directly because you like the videos I've been doing, then Patreon is the best way to do so. And even something as little as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support for the channel and help keep it alive well into the future, because YouTube AdSense is very weird. So, just note that. But it also gets you entry into monthly giveaways for Yu-Gi-Oh! product, as well as entry into my private Discord server. If you want to chat with me and other people on a daily basis about Yu-Gi-Oh! and other fandoms, then that is something that you would be interested in, I'd hope. So if you're interested in any of that reward tier nonsense, then definitely go check out the rewards over on Patreon in the link in the description, as I've already said. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video. But anyway, now the video's over, I'd like to give special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that's currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a lot more than you may know, and you have my eternal gratitude as always. Thank you so much for the support, guys. You guys are awesome.